So for anybody new who has not watched the Gladiator tournament before, the 1v1s are very simple. They cannot engage in a head-on. They must cross over each other before they start engaging each other. That is the only rule of 1v1s, and they will also be flying identical planes. The planes, there's nine planes to choose from, and they basically veto them until they have one left, and then both teams will be flying, and today we are going to be watching both teams fly the BF-109 F4. An excellent plane. Those cannons are exceptionally powerful. So on the SV team, we have... Avtor mid. And on the DA team, we have Kolos. Again, guys, they do need to cross over each other before... Before they can engage each other. That's essentially just what we're waiting on. We'll also have to wait a little bit longer, since though the BF-109 isn't the best turning plane uh, of all of them to choose from. And that's a very nice plane. Oh, wow. Instantly getting a nice few crits off of onto Kalos. That left wing instantly damaged. He's going to now found it exceptionally difficult to turn right. Very unfortunate to get crits so early on. Since though this is RB, they do have a nice third person perspective. So lining up shots is a little bit easier than the simulator. But trying to use flaps to try and get his opponent to overshoot. But I just don't think it's going to work. No, unfortunately, just, just these cannons are just so powerful. Just ripping right through the plane. So that does mean that SV has taken the first point of this, of this leg. If they win another two, then they will be taking the first point of the series. A very, very, very quick game. Now all we've got to do is wait for the <laughs> for the thing to count down. There we go. It's figured out that everybody's dead. So a very, very quick game, guys. Do not expect them all to be that fast and for us to finally win it instantly. you got to remember, these guys are very, very good pilots. They've faced a lot of opponents and they are here in the semi-finals. So it is likely that we might see a game that goes on pretty quick. Uh, no, the score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, they need to win a majority before they can get the first point in the round. So once they've won uh, three out of the four 1v1s, they will get a point. So now we're just waiting on everybody to ready up. Again, for anybody who's just joining us, this is the Gladiator Super Cup semi-finals. Sky Veterans versus Duradler. The winner of this will be going up to face the person, uh, the team that we will be watching next. So we do have two games for you. We also have a simulator battle at the end of the evening. We have three games. There we go, guys. Everybody is now readied up. We are back in for the second 1v1. Just waiting on the guys to spawn. So here we have Mr. Black Cat versus THG. Again, they must cross over each other before they can start firing at each other. THG deciding to climb a little bit harder than his opponent, now deciding to dive. Probably to gain a little bit of momentum, so that way when he does cross over, he can turn his plane around much faster. 
Also, you can see he has the gladiator symbol. That means this is not his first gladiator gladiator tournament. Now we can see the crossover. Now they are now they are able to go guns blazing. So we'll basically see a little bit of a dance, what I like to call the dance of death, where both guys will just sort of circle each other for a little bit, and it'll basically come down to whoever makes the first mistake. And that normally happens to the person who decides to try and do something clever, or try and maneuver first. They're probably trying to stall out his opponent. Almost manages. But I think Black Cat is just going to sit quite happily on his tail. I think Black Cat will probably have flaps out to try and give himself as much lift as possible. There we go. Using those landing flaps. Try and get the nose of the plane up as hard as possible. Using quite a few stealth rounds on those uh, machine guns. Using those flaps to also stop himself from uh, overshooting. Rather unlucky that he's not getting any hits. Just needs to get that nose just a little bit higher. Oh, and the pilot snipe. Just as I say that, gets the nose up just a little bit. Bam. Nice, easy headshot. I mean, it just goes to show just how powerful these cannons are. Just one small burst and instantly manages to crit the pilot. I just love how his accuracy is just so good that he didn't even need to damage the plane. Just went straight for the pilot. Doesn't need it. Now remember guys, these guys are the best of the best. They have gone up against at least 50 plus other teams. And this is now the best of the East. Uh, we had those tournaments a few weeks ago, and now it's well, they're also facing up the get best of the West, which was almost a year ago. So as we can see, the uh, arbiter confirming that it is now two nil in this leg to SV. So SV only need to win the next one v one to get the first point of this series. So here we go guys, again all SV needs to do is get one, the final win here, and bam, they will take the first point. So who do we have? We have Angry Cat versus Sniper. Again guys, as this is the 1v1, they just need to cross over each other first. Then they can engage each other. Again, Angry Cat showing off that he has been in the Gladiator tournament before. Showing off that nice decal. As you can see, both guys starting to dive to try and gain a little bit more momentum over their opponent. So they can turn as quickly as possible. Try and get their noses up as high as possible. Angry Cat with a height advantage. Wouldn't surprise to see if we see a bit of flap action now, so he can get as much lift as possible out of the plane. Again, since the BF-109 isn't the best turn fighter, they need to have as much advantage as possible, really using those flaps. There we go, landing flaps coming out now. Just trying to keep the plane pointing up. Sniper is probably going to try and stall out uh, Angry Cat. Unfortunately, just no success. The poor, the poor uh, Duradler guy is just, just so unlucky. Oh, but he does manage to put the fire out at least. I don't think it's going to last very long. That victory is going to be rather short. 
as it doesn't look like he has much control of the aircraft as it slowly plummets towards the ground. Oh, he does have some control of the plane then, but his engine sounds... Ah, did he turn it off or is it dead? No, nope, it's dead. Okay, I thought he turned it off to try and stop the fire, but unfortunately it has just died. Now he's just teasing me. I mean, that plane was so critted, or I mean, Sniper wasn't going to be able to do much. So that does mean that SV do take the first point. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think Sniper was just teasing me. He was like, "Huh, my engine might be broken. I don't think so." Turns it back on. Makes me look silly. Thank you, thank you, Sniper. Oh, Angry Cat with the nice uh, aerobatic smoke there. So there we go, guys. We will, I, I believe we might still see the final 4v4. Uh, even though... We don't necessarily need to. As though the result is kind of confirmed. But I do feel like everybody should get to fly out. So we might still get to see it. No, I think we're just moving straight into the 2v2. So the 2v2 is worth two points. So Duradler could sneak in front if they win both rounds of the 2v2. Obviously, if Sky Veterans win, they will be 3-0 ahead. This way on everybody ready up, guys. So in the 2v2 guys, they do not need to head on each other. They can just go straight in, guns blazing, head on. They can do whatever they like. But a lot of people don't choose to. Obviously, you don't want to give the same advantage to the opponent by being able to just level out at each other and just start shooting each other. You, know, you want to come from behind where they can't shoot you. So we've got Red Dragon War and MP Cop versus Colos and THG. Again, guys, the 1v1 is only worth one point. So the score is currently 1-0. Oh, so it looks to me that we might start out the fight seeing two separate 1v1s. Kalos going up against Red Dragon and THG versus MP Cut. It wouldn't surprise me if we saw one of their teammates uh, wait for an opportunity to then swoop in and assist their teammate while they're, you know, they've got no momentum and they've been turning. See, we can see here, uh, THG trying to help 2v1 uh, Red Dragon. Unfortunately, doesn't get any hits on, I don't think. No, the battle log, no crits. I mean, he does run the risk of MP Cot coming up behind him. There we go, there we see him. He does manage to get a crit on that right wing. And it looks like the elevator. So, I mean, that is obviously the uh, downside to trying to, to 2v1 someone is that you leave yourself open to being attacked from behind. But if you can get that early kill, it is, it is just... You're just unstoppable at that point. So, more, now poor Kalos has to go 2v1. I almost thought the two SV guys were going to ram into each other, but this is a pretty high-level play, so... I would hope they weren't going to ram into each other. And a very fast 2v2. Duradler showing they're not going down without... Oh, no, sorry. 
That was the SV team. We'll, we'll change the statement and go SV just showing their sheer, sheer dominance. So now if SV is currently 1-0, yes, uh, Undead Phantom is correct. SV is currently 1-0. They just need to win another game, and they will be 3-0 up in total. So it's basically a best of three in the 2v2. So basically we'll just see everybody sort of start swapping around. Uh, no, this is realistic battle, guys. But if Duradler do win, then you can have a best of three in the 2v2. So it is a best of three. So as we just wait for everybody to spawn in, we have Angry Cat, and who is his teammate? Avromd. We'll just call him Avril. Avril and Angry Cat versus Demugan and Sniper. Again guys, as this is the 2v2, they do not need to cross over each other, they can just engage straight away. But like we saw in the last round, it is rather rare to see people go head on with each other. Although, saying that, you can sometimes ram into each other if you try, uh, oh no, see, still no shots fired. Nobody really wants to truly go head on with each other. They don't want to give each other the same advantage. So we've now got Sniper and Angry Cat trying to take down, sorry. They're on Angry Cat. Almost rammed into each other. So now we've got a 1v1 scenario. We've got Angry Cat versus Demugan. Sniper's plane is absolutely obliterated and so is uh, Avor. And that's why you don't really want to go head on with each other. I mean, just look at how quickly these two planes just tear each other apart. The cannon is just so powerful. The Adler really do need to win this. To tie up the 2v2. I mean, just look at how powerful this plane is. Just a few bursts and instantly the plane is critted. But the downside to that is that this plane isn't the most maneuverable of all the planes. Uh, the Spitfire is probably most likely the most, the most maneuverable. Hmm. I'm going to have to look that up because I I thought that the only one where they couldn't engage each other was the 1v1. I'm 95% sure on that one. Or I was. I might still have the uh, the old rules. Because I think they've updated quite a few things. Ah, oh, they changed the rules. Oh, no. Because <laughs> in the old rules, it was the only one where they couldn't engage each other was the 1v1. 
for, for until the crossover. But if it's 40 seconds, then that's fine. Alright, so Adam will now change all of his statements from now on to... They can't engage each other for 40 seconds. Okay, see, we can't, we can't see the gun timer. I always just thought they were being polite. But since though SV did win that, they now are 3 0 up on Duradler. I mean they did ram into each other one time in a in a two V two. They looked like they were coming in and uh, they were they looked like they were coming to head on with each other and all of a sudden the two planes just rammed into each other and they no longer existed. That was probably one of the fastest 2v2s. I think that was... Uh, which round was that? I think that was a sim game, actually. I know Scream wasn't there for it. I think it might have been LK versus Black Team. I think there might have been a ram in the 2v2. So now, guys, we get ready for the 4v4, where everybody can ram into each other. If we don't see a ram, I will be disappointed, guys. We've seen a ram. Whenever I've streamed on my own, or commentated on my own, there has always been a ram. So I do expect there to be a ram. Uh, just while we wait for these guys to ready up quickly, we do have a sponsor video to show you, so I'm just going to quickly show that. Meet the Rocket Tie Hot, featuring the brand new Rocket Accelerator Analog Thumb Paddle, giving you unrivaled command capabilities. The new Rocket Fin Switch, letting you execute multiple maneuvers at the same time. Four ergonomic top buttons, instinctively placed so that you can hunt for prey, not for buttons. Meet the new standard in gaming mouse control. There we go, that was our quick word from our sponsors, Rocat. And that mouse. Everybody wants that mouse. I want that mouse, and Scream apparently is going to get that mouse. So here we go guys, moving into the 4v4. Duradler do need to win this to tie a tool up, and then we will see a... Fourth round, but if SV win, then it will be 6 0. I mean, uh, DA do have a few guys who were uh, 2v2 duelists, so it's not as if they're. I mean, they're in, they're in the semi finals. So these guys aren't bad. Are we just going to see four separate 1v1s? I mean, you've got THG versus Avar at the moment. I mean, obviously they can't shoot each other the 40 seconds. You got two Duradler guys. The head-on was not very successful for Demurgen. Unfortunately causing his plane to be set on fire and slowly plummeting towards the ground. Look, instantly, was that, was that pilot snipe? I didn't even think. So now it is unfortunately 2v4. Uh, I feel like Duradler's only chance is if, is uh, if uh, SV start ramming into each other. Oh my lord, no, it's, just look at how powerful this plane is. It, it just tears even itself up. Um, I don't even think if they started ramming into each other, 
I don't, I don't think, uh, <laughs> I, I've got a bad feeling that poor DA is, oh, he's not going to have a fight though. Oh, I think his tail was critted. I don't think he's going to pull up. So guys, an exceptionally quick game. Um, I mean, SV just showing their dominance once again. I mean, these guys have gone 6-0, and 5-1, and one, and now 6-0. and oh. I mean, these guys are very good at what they do. And that is, obviously, gladiator tournament battles. So, guys, that means that... De Adler... Ah, uh, sorry. SV... will be going up against either White Rhinoceros or Russia, um, Sobor. There we go. So we will be watching that game in 30 minutes. It'll be right Rhinoceros versus Sobor. So if you'd like to watch that game, just sit tight and we will get that up for you in about 30 minutes.